Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Before we get into your reading Scorpio, I just want to take the time to remind you um, and to encourage you guys to put out positive energy and loving energy into the universe. We are currently experiencing difficulties, trialing times and we are just living a transformative type of energy that we're currently living in. And it is very important to be compassionate towards each other, to be loving, to be helpful towards one another. I think that that's something we're lacking right now and it is greatly needed. Anyways, I hope you and your family is being safe and everything is well. Let's get into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of June 2020. Your first card, Six of Wands, Victory. Uh, feeling victorious, feeling like you've achieved, like you're conquering. You have the Star card. The Star card as a blockage usually indicates perhaps feeling like things are... Oh, wow, you have two sixes. Okay, so there is a feeling... There's fear. For some of you guys, um, you may be dealing with an Aquarius. For others, you may be dealing with a fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries type of energy. But as an obstacle, I feel that with the star card, there is a feeling like there is a hope or a desire or a wish that you're waiting on. But there's also fear connected to that. For some of you guys, it could be like a feeling of perhaps worthiness like questioning your worthiness questioning if you deserve what you're waiting on or what you're hoping for and with the six of wands i feel that there is fear connected to moving forward or moving on for some of you guys this could be in regards to a relationship now you do have the ace of wands so there is a new beginning that is coming towards you um so i think that your fear is basically you're basically fearing and putting energy towards what you shouldn't because there is a new beginning that's coming towards you. There is an opportunity. There is an offering that's coming to you. Um, but I think it's prolonging or it's taking a little bit longer because there is fear connected to that. Now, you also have the strength card, having the power, having the strength to pull through, to get through it. You have the King of Swords, um, Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini type of energy. Um, for some of you guys, it could be starting or fearing that you may not have the opportunity to start a new beginning or to start. Um, it could be in regards to relationships. Perhaps there was some type of uh ending and there is hope or wanting to restart or have the opportunity to give each other a, a tr another try um but what they're saying here is that it is coming towards you scorpio but there is still like fear connected to it you are blocking your blessing basically now with the page of swords there is definitely i feel for some of you guys you may be dealing with an air energy that may be stalking you maybe looking at your social medias maybe um, and it could be, it could be also for some of you guys, like if you're dealing with a person from the past, it could be that you're feeling like they've moved on because they haven't contacted or they haven't communicated, but I definitely see them very active either in your social medias or looking at what you're doing, but they're being very secretive about it. So ego could be involved here. Now your next card is the page of coins. So yeah. I feel that for some of you guys, this has been something that's been going on for quite a while for you guys. Um, and the magician is finally the manifestation of communication that you've been waiting on for quite a while now. And death card, your card, Scorpio, major transformation happening here. We have the magician as well. Okay, so what they're saying is that for some of you guys, especially if you're dealing with the person from your past or you're wanting to restart or begin or have a new beginning, what they're saying is definitely a green light. You're the only one that's blocking yourself. So it could be out of fear. It could be out of frustration. What they're saying is get out of your own way. 
what I mean by that is put your energy and focus towards other things, not specifically what you're wanting to manifest, because at the present time, you're kind of becoming more of a blockage than anything. But there is a new beginning that's coming towards you, and it could be something you've been waiting on for quite a while. For others of you, uh, you may be getting unexpected news that is very positive and you weren't really expecting it. You were hoping for it, but you weren't expecting it. And what they're saying here is that the blessings are coming towards you. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, what they're saying here is that there is definitely transformative type of energy happening. There's been blockages, but you're overcoming those blockages and you will be successful in your endeavor. Um, coming closer together, understanding one another, working as a team that is definitely going to strengthen your partnership. Um, and you may actually take it to the next level. For some of you guys, it could be actually if you're dating someone, it could be uh, that you guys make it official. For others of you, it could be the manifestation of some type of commitment, some type of engagement. For others of you, it's just transformative energy. Like I said, uh, bringing you guys closer together, like a, a, a renovating type of energy, rejuvenation is what they're saying. Uh, so again, uh, there's definitely very, very positive energy here. What they're telling you, Scorpio, stop worrying. Stop being a worried worm. Uh, you're basically worrying yourself for nothing. Have faith and you will see things unfold before you. For those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I definitely see that there is an ending to your singlehood. Uh, it could be an Aries coming towards you. It could be an Aquarius type of energy coming towards you. But there's definitely a new beginning uh, that is going to be unfolding for the month of June. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.